I'm currently working on a body of work called Ayaka in Yoktola, translating as rebuilding a path to forgiveness. This body of work is very personal to me because I think it's the first time I place myself into the experience of what I connect with the work. And for a first solo project in Cape Town, in South Africa, I think I wanted to connect to people as myself, as opposed to the experiences that I've been intellectualizing in my work. Ayaka was an experience of grief. It is a loss of a child through miscarriage. It is a loss of myself through many losses. The loss of understanding the things that you have control over and the loss of things that you don't have control over. And at that time, I was very much trapped into the emotion of anger. But I think as you experience as many losses, you kind of figure out what is the closest solution to getting to a place where I'm okay with it. And that's where rebuilding the path to forgiveness um, kind of stem from. I'm very experimental in the studio. I think a lot of the experiments that I use are quite intuitive. Right now, I think the key material that has guided me throughout my entire practice is sand. And it is such a key material that it informs the technique that keeps the simplicity and keeps the minimalism of the work, but then almost pushes through the canvas to say it is not of normality or it is not what we're used to. I wanted to focus on colour where themes are concerned because usually I focus on the spirituality and how to then relate to the figure. But I think in this current body of work, colour is a very important thing because I wanted to use it as a tool to connect to the feeling as opposed to connect to what the spirituality of it kind of informs. I approach composition in a way that is hyper-visible and is in between abstraction and ex expressionism, right? And I wouldn't necessarily, I don't want to call it composition because it removes the scene that I'm creating. I think in the setting, I think of my work as scenes and photographs that we're taking in a hyper-visible world and in a world that is easily imaginable. I imagine the spirit of, let's say, a Malik Sadiba taking a photo in an imaginary world. And that's how I approach my composition. A lot of it is also inspired by African photography. For this project, I think I'm yearning a platform to engage. Because I've put my, my own experiences of loss and grief, I think the solution, or rather the way to finding out what that path to forgiveness is, I would want anyone that can relate to see that. And to see that it is a way of me reaching out, whether it is telepathic, or whether we get to have a conversation, or whether they just have a conversation with the work at least there's some kind of open conversation that we can have.